So, wir gucken uns... Oh, Digga, da habe ich Bock drauf. Moment. Gestochen zwei, äh, bei 200 Bulldog. Ameisen. Ooh. Today's episode is brought to you by the ants. Underground Kingdom. Oh mein Gott, der Viecher so sind so fast. hinterlassen. Digga. One, two, three. And first thing I'll right under the fingernail. Digga. We all know that when Coyote Peterson shows up with his little red container and a pair of forceps, a sting is likely close to follow. Today I'm in Australia, and right in front of me there is a very unassuming pile of dirt. It is the mound of the bulldog ant. Digga, and we're gonna try two things today. A single shade so that I can rank this insect on the insect sting pain index. I've never been stung by it before, and it's Guck mal, wie riesig die auch ist, ne? only fair to test a single sting before we bring on the big game. The big game is me putting myself into the position of a gardener who's disturbed a mound of these fiery ants. I'm going to catch many of them, quite possibly hundreds of them, Boah, inside of the same riesig, box that we debuted in the... I must really say, I find Ameisen really very astounding. What they do, what they can do, they are really very cool animals. Everyone knows that feeling from you, when you see in the middle of an Ameisenhaufen or somewhere that there are many Ameisen. The Dutch Ameisen, that is already unangenehm and it hurts when they peeks. The Angry Yellow Jacket Box episode. Now my hand's going to go in the box. We're going to find out just how bad the magnitude of stings this insect riesig. really can be. Now to do a single sting, all we need is a single ant. And to catch one shouldn't be too difficult. Watch this. All I got to do is put this little cup down like this. There we go. <laughs> it was that easy. Getting one to jump inside. Digga, wie riesig sind die? Now this is what I would call a medium-sized ant. Not nearly as big as... Bro, die sind größer als eine Wespe gefühlt. Ein Zentimeter oder größer. Oh, ich würde das Ding schon, also ein Zentimeter ist erstmal sehr groß, finde ich, um das Thema mal zu klären. Aber ich würde sagen, zwei Zentimeter mindestens. Es ist ein aber die Rumor ist, dass es Sting ist quite possibly as bad. Heute werden wir find out just how bad it really is. Now, the Bulldog Ant, commonly known as the Bull Ant, or as many people call it, the Jumping Jack Ant, is famous because of their ability to jump. Ah. Ah, okay, das wusste ich gar nicht. Here we go. Now my heart rate's starting to go in. Oh no, no! Oh no, you're jumping away! Nope, stay over here. Jump into the cup. <laughs> okay, it's just on my hand. Oh, Digga, da hätte ich gar keinen Bock drauf. Da hätte ich gar keinen Bock drauf. I'm Coyote Peterson and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Bulldog Ant. Die hat ja einen richtigen Pieks da hinten, Digga. Oh, yeah. <lacht> right, you got shot there? You didn't? Oh, yeah. Yow. Yow, 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 yow. Oh, he's still jumping around. Come here, buddy. Oh, gotta get you back into the container. All right, come here, come here, come here. Don't sting my hand, too. Also der hat schon, der hat schon sich von ganz, der hat sich schon von ganz anderen Sachen stechen lassen, ne? Also das ist für ihn gerade so wie, wie vielleicht ein Alster was er trinken. Strangely, as just a little bit of a tingle. Ja, man sieht es ja. Not really that painful, but it is beginning to increase. At this point, nowhere close to a bullet ant. I would probably say it's about a two, and we're only 15 seconds in. Let me see if this is going to get worse. Okay. If this is as bad as it's going to get at this point, I'm calling it a two. And now, okay, and it's by Schmerzgala. Really it's okay. Trent, the box, please. <laughs> I think you guys recognize this contraption. It's the same box we use when I put my. Okay, also ein, ein Westenstich ist auch unangenehm, aber, aber 50 Westenstiche auf einmal. Hand in there with 200 angry yellow jackets. The next part of this episode has me putting myself into a... Digga, der Typ ist... Der, 200 der angry typ, yellow jackets. Digga, der, der Typ ist... The next part of this episode has me putting myself into a worst case scenario. Imagine that you're a gardener out there digging around in the garden and you don't realize that you have disturbed an entire mound of bulldog ants. When those ants spill out and they're angry, boy, do they sting in mass. 
Now the goal is to catch several hundred of them inside this box. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Once they're in the box, my hand also goes into the box. I think we oh all know what's God. gonna happen at that point. Oh my God. Now, before I place my hand into a box of stinging ants, first I wanna say thank you to today's sponsor. Skip. Einfach cooler. Einfach ein, Arme, einfach ein Ameisenspiel, was er bewerbt, Digga. <lacht> Cure the cloth, so that the ants don't just get out and run all over the place. But I have a feeling that once my hand goes in there, they're going to attack, they're going to latch on. They're going to bite with those mandibles, and then they're going to sting. Die sehen schon hinterlistig aus, Digga. Die sehen schon gefährlich aus. Wie aus einem schlechten Horrorfilm so mäßig, wisst ihr, wie ich meine? Stinger will likely get stuck in my arm. Now, they're not going to lose their stinger, but they'll keep it there and pump Venom load after venom load. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take off these bracelets. I'm gonna take off my wristband. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the ultimate sting zone with the bulldog ant. One, two, Three. Answer on me. Investigating. Ja, ich, glaub, ich glaube, die stechen nicht sofort, Digga. Ich glaub, warum sollten die jetzt stechen? Die fühlen sich ja noch nicht in Gefahr. Getting bitten. Getting bitten. Oh, in den Fingernagel vorne. All right, now, now they're starting to realize that there is an invader. Ah, oh, I'm stuck in the palm of the hand. Holy mackerel, holy mackerel. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, these things are feeling worse than what was happening on my, on my, on just my forearm. Digga, die sind echt real talk, die sind groß, Digga. Hold on, let me just, you can't leave yet. Don't leave yet. You guys see my wrist well enough? Uh, yeah, they're kind of getting all over me at this point. Let me turn around like that. Oh, is that sweet, that okay, Now, I got several ants on me in several places. The ones on my wrist are the ones that hurt the most, but strangely enough, not all of the ants are attacking. You can see that the container is starting to fog up, and that's because my hand is beginning to sweat big time. I'm a lot of pain at this point. Mm. 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 And strangely enough, a lot of the ants are really recognizing that there is an escape route now. So I think they're more interested in getting away necessarily than they are attacking. But a number of them have definitely taken to my hand and said, oh yeah, this is the hand that abducted us. Oh, it's on my legs too. Oh, and there's, ants all, there's ants all over the deck at this point. They must be escaping out of the bottom. Okay. Ah. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to do is take this off. Ow! I'm gonna take this off at this point. Oh, wait, that's maybe a bad idea. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get my hand on there. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out slowly, but the ants are gonna come off. Okay, I think I got. I think I gotta give in. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pull my hand back through here as gently as I can, so I don't hurt any of the ants. They're just gonna kind of slide off. I didn't really think about that. Oh, it's getting worse. I just gotta get this thing off. I gotta get this thing off. Digga, er hat echt Eier aus Stahl, Digga. I'm gonna try to crinkle this up so more ants don't escape. I still have several of them on my hand. Oh, God, this is really bad. Try to get a couple shots of them on my hand. I gotta get them off. Alter. I'm holding still for these tight shots. I'm talking about these guys are Hey, okay, Mario, how are you? Um, hang on a second. Okay, up, 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 come on, up, up. Holy mackerel, okay. Two times a lot. 
If I rank this as a two with a single spin, man, my hand is absolutely throbbing right now. Oh, <laughs> it's building. Uh, 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 the pain is not nearly as bad as the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jacket initial impact was way more extreme than the Bulldog Ants, but strangely enough, the mandibles, once they locked in place, hurt as well. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <sighs> that tip is big up. Holy cow. I All right. Right now. This is definitely more painful than fire ants. <laughs> definitely more painful than harvest ants. Oh, I would say at man. this point, I am crescendoing up near bullet ant level of pain. Oh, hold on, I gotta get up and look around for a second. Ah, I'm just gonna cut this camera. Mm. I'm just tr I'm trying to hold my composure to not have as much dramatics, but it's really, really, really bad. Oh, and about a minute and a half to two minutes in, it starts to build more so. And oh, look, my hand is, is oh wait, I think, I think it's turning purple because I have these rubber bands on me still. Ow. Oh, oh, the ones on the back of my wrist right there, honestly the worst. Very sensitive skin there, yeah. all here on my fingers. And in about a minute and a half to two minutes, the welts are going to start to form. Oh. Digga, der Typ hat wirklich... Das, das ist schon nicht ohne, was er da macht, ne? P1, danke dir nochmal für 5 geschlabberte Sabarinos. Dankeschön. My hand is turning purple. Does anybody else see this? My hand is turning purple. I can't really move my fingers. Now look at this one right here, dude. This is the first one that got me on the palm of my hand. Oh. Look at the tips of my fingers. How strange also, es, das kommt mir schon so vor, als wenn die Hand gut angeschwollen ist, oder? That. Dankeschön, Look danke dir für die Zeit. Look at all Wow, we have never seen a reaction like this before. Regret level, as compared to the yellow jackets, not nearly as bad. Worse than a single sting, unquestionably. All right, let's go back over there. <clears throat> Jimmy Crickets. Mm. Ants all over the place. <laughs> uh, it's really, really painful. The pain is more intense minutes after than it is on the initial sting. The initial sting almost feels, if you can describe, sweet. You can feel it happening, but you're almost kind of giggly a little bit. It's kind of like, <laughs> oh, it tickles just a little bit. And then it starts to burn. And right now my hand feels like it's in a state of paralysis. It's throbbing, having trouble moving my fingers. There is discoloration happening in my hand. So the stings here and then the back side of my wrist, I think are probably the most painful. And here's what's interesting. I saw a variation between putting my hand into a box of bullet ants in which I was stung zero times I put my hand into a box of der yellow jackets and was stung over a hundred times. Der typ but these ants, so geisteskrank, some attacked macht, and some were more interested in escaping. My hand actually feels really cold now. Oh man. Uh, and what's unique is that when these insects sting, they insert the stinger and they leave it in. They don't lose the stinger, but they keep pumping venom. So in each individual sting, I got more than your average yield. So if you were to get stung by one of these ants, all you need to do is flick it off, get yourself away from the danger zone. So if you're out there working in your garden, remember when we showed you the opening to the original nest where we pulled the single ant from, it was barely noticeable that there were ants there until we disturbed the nest. So if you're out there digging and you unearth a mound of these and find yourself covered, brush them off, get yourself away from the nest, and you're probably going to be just fine. Now the sting from this ant is not likely to cause any serious medical reaction. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna swell okay. up. Unless your body is going into some sort of allergic reaction, mm -hmm. your throat is swelling up, you're feeling uh, super dizzy, you're vomiting, or you're recognizing your body is having an adverse reaction beyond just pain, get yourself to a medical establishment as quickly as possible. Don't okay. drive yourself, have somebody else take you, but the chances are you're going to be absolutely just fine. Captain, it Red Eye, danke dir für die Gegiften. Gutes Video. Jetzt, also es ist halt medizinisch nicht, äh, nicht schlimm, was er da gemacht hat. Was ist das hier, Digga? 
I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with Australia's second most painful stinging tree. Here we go. One. Stunned by the devil's toilet paper. Oh my God, das gucken wir uns noch an. Scheiße. Two. Three. Ah! Also ich sag ehrlich, Digga, Pflanzen, Pflanzen können auch richtig gefährlich sein. In Australien bringt dich alles rum, äh, um, ist es wirklich so, ja? So why in the world would I want to be intentionally stung by this plant species? Well, we want to figure out a couple of things. Number one, how susceptible am I to plant venoms? Number two, is the sting really as bad as I've read about? And number three, if you do run into this plant in the wild, what are some ways that you can help alleviate the pain and remove the nettles from your arm? That's what they call in the industry, the devil's toilet paper. All right, should we keep hiking and find one that's a little bit bigger? Oh, this whole hillside, look. Holy cow, the hillside is literally filled with these. That is all giant stinging trees right there. A lot easier to find stinging plants than it is the stinging insects. Looks like we've got our pick of the crop out here. Now it's just a matter of finding the right leaf that's gonna put this forearm into a world of pain. This tree behind me right here would not be considered a giant. It's just a baby. But believe it or not, this species can grow to be nearly 100 feet in height. Have now, to. as they get bigger, the spines on their main stem, their trunk, so to speak, begin to evolve away. And all of the irritating nettles are just on the stalks and the mm -hmm. leaves themselves. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these leaves have holes in them from caterpillars. You think that this defense would have evolved to take care of things like insects that are gonna eat the leaves, but really this toxin only affects mammals. Lol. Okay, so this Ä is the leaf I'm gonna go for right here. Untertitel anmachen kann ich so gut Englisch. Klar, kein Problem, Diggi. And plant, thank you for letting us use one of your leaves. I'm gonna be very gentle about this, almost like a game of operation to work my arm in here so that I don't accidentally bump any of the other leaves. Mods auch mal arbeiten, bitte, ne? This right at the base. Danke. Okay. There we go. Come at trust. Danke dir für die Australian giant stinging tree. Looks very unassuming. Also, er will deutsche okay. Untertitel. Nee, deutsche Untertitel gibt's nicht, Digga. Deutsche Untertitel gibt's nicht. Automatisch übersetzen. Oh, warte mal. Oh, seit wann gibt's das denn, Digga? Before das we ja get cool. into the exciting part, the sting of it all. Easy. Ist neu, wusste ich gar nicht. Also, könnte ich nicht. We're gonna show you guys some macro shots of the nettles that are on the oh, underside. Also vor so einem Kram habe ich also auch richtig Schiss, Digga. Oder nicht Schiss, aber Respekt. Ja, hast du vollkommen recht. Das, sind, das ist Brennnessel auf Speed oder auf Kokain, ja? Brennnesseln sind ja schon widerlich, aber das ist, glaube ich, nicht, ist nicht vergleichbar. These are known as trichomes. And the trichomes specifically are like little barbs filled with a neurotoxin. Boah, Scientists believe that this neurotoxin aus. is very similar to that which you find in the cone snail. One of the most painful stings ja. in the marine animal kingdom. Now I've never been stung by a cone snail because it's said that if you take a cone snail sting, you will be hospitalized. Uh, the way those trichomes work is that if you picture a needle with the tip of it being very sharp, hypodermic in nature, that tip breaks off once those little hairs touch skin and they release that toxin causing massive irritation mm -hmm. which triggers your pain receptors. And what's really unique is that scientists don't know why the pain receptors are set off and last as long as they do. Now those trichomes are located That's heftig, ne? Dass selbst nicht mal die Wissenschaft weiß, warum das so ist. Located on the top of the leaf, but also on the underside and all along the stem. Okay. I think it's time to get down to business here. So What's crazy about Digga. this is... So widerlich. Uh, TX, danke dir für die fünf gegifteten Schlabarinos. Kuss, kuss, kuss. I'm not going to be able to remove these nettles. They, in a sense, are microscopic, especially once they get into your skin. And like shards of fiberglass, they're going to work their way down and in. The pain will begin to come on within a matter of seconds and will get worse and worse as the minutes go by. Now, we do have a method that I've read about that could possibly remove some of those nettles from my arm. But first things first, we've got to get the nettles into the skin. I'm Coyote Peterson. Oh my God, the God, what the hell am I doing? I feel the clicks, ne? In zone with the Australian giant stinging tree. Here we go. One. Bruder, ich hätte da sogar keinen Bock drauf, Digga. I don't need to smack my arm. All I need to do is just raise the yeah. over the forearm like this. And I'm Oder gonna be nettled. Er wird gleich an Schmerzen sterben, gefühlt. Multiple times. Oh boy. Three. Oh my. Ah. 
nur dran gerieben. That is instantaneous. Okay, it's not a slow lead on. It is the second the leaf touches your skin. It feels like if you were to put pop rocks in your mouth and they start exploding, ah, and then they just start hurting right away. Mm, holy cow, holy cow. That is getting worse as the seconds go by. Mm. Okay, so you can start to see all those little welts forming. The arm is beginning to turn red. This is sort of like the jellyfish of the plant kingdom. And those tiny nettles are almost like the nematophores that come off of the jellyfish's tentacles. Ah, oh, I want to like rub it or do something to it, but I know if I do that, it's only going to work the nettles in deeper. Now, it's important to note that this is the second most painful stinging plant in Australia. Okay, the number krass. one top tier, the one that they call the suicide plant, is called the Jimpy. Now, we once ranked the bullet ant as the number one sting in the insect kingdom. From there, it climbed up to the giant hornet and the execution wasp. So supposedly, this sting from this plant is like the comparison of the Japanese giant hornet. Honestly, at this point, I'd say the pain is starting to get into that realm of sticking my hand into a box full of yellow jackets. Now, I've been very public in saying that the hand in the angry yellow jacket box is the most painful experience I've ever gone through. So far, this has not eclipsed that, but if the pain continues to increase as it is now, I'm in for a very painful next 24 hours. Okay, so when you think about it, I barely graze that leaf Bruder, over my forearm. Wie wir ganz um, so, man. Wenn er da den the Schmerz hat. These steep inclinements and you slipped and you fell and you rolled down that hill like Humpty Dumpty head over heels through these plants how bad that would be it feels as if somebody has taken a hot glue gun and spread the glue on my forearm and I can't actually get the glue off of my skin mm -hmm. and it's beginning to radiate and I can feel it coming in these surges of womp 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 was ist das für ein Untertitel? Like that's the pacing of the pain. And scientists don't quite know why this neurotoxin reacts to boom, humans, boom. to mammal DNA the way that it does. All right, so what we're going to do now is let this set in for a bit longer and then I'm going to try one of the remedies that I saw online. Okay, es war eher so ein Meh Video, würde ich sagen. Also da hat mir das davor wesentlich besser gefallen, Digga, sag ich ehrlich. Wir werden uns da aber andere Videos noch angucken, haben wir auch schon in der Vergangenheit. Musik